Oh, cool. I just want to really appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to, to do this uh, for us. And uh, just really pre appreciate yeah, the, the, uh, the laughs. The show's been great. Um, nine seasons, crazy. Did you think you'd get here? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think anybody that works in this business goes into a new job and thinks, oh yeah, we're gonna get nine seasons of TV out of this. It's, we're, 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 we're very lucky, it's quite remarkable. I mean, I, I, knew, I, I knew how proud I was of it and I knew that I thought we were making something good, but I definitely didn't, uh, I've been doing this a long time. I did not think nine seasons was in the cards for anything. It, it, seem, it seems crazy because the show is definitely, um, I would say it definitely pushes the envelope. And I think you guys, when it came out, I. I I live on the U.S. Canadian border, so I kind of saw it about 2013, 2014, when I think it was still on YouTube and everything like that. And uh, you guys seem to be like ahead of the the curve just a tad. And and I didn't know if like, you know, do you think that because you kind of you kind of pushed that envelope the whole time, you, like everything's caught up to it in, in a way. Yeah, I mean, I think that what's good about what we we kind of been marching to the beat of our own drummer since the beginning. We know we're, we've always had a weird show, um, and yeah, we're. I, I think that I don't know. We don't. I, I don't know that either Jared or I paid that much attention to what's going on in the rest of. I mean, like we all we watch TV and stuff, but yeah. like, there's no kind of. Uh, there's no like plan. There's no like, okay, let's do this. We just kind of do things that we find are funny and try to keep the spirit as true as we can to what we started with. Well, obviously Gail is probably one of the craziest characters on, on television, <laughs> you know? Uh, how did you, uh, you know, as, as an actor, how did you kind of go, go there, take yourself to that, that person, Lisa? Well, I think that the writing was so fun you know, like when I auditioned for it, I was, I had actually like seen the, the, sh the, the pieces on YouTube before. Like I remember reading about it in the paper that they were doing, they were like developing a show. So I watched it. I was like, oh, this is hilarious. I was like, this is up my alley of comedy. And then I just think that like the writing is so much fun and it just demands <laughs> you to dive in. I don't think you can kind of jump into it half-hearted. So for me anyway, it was like, just got to dive in there and bring something to like the world that they created for this character. Uh, Trevor, I know you have a stand-up background. I, I think I saw, I've seen clips of you uh, before, before the, I even know you were on the show. And, and as a stand-up comedian, did you feel like the, the writing was complimentary or are, you know, I know stand-ups write. Did you ever interject with, uh, you know, I got an idea here or they kind of let you do your thing? The, the uh, Jacob and, and Jared are always uh, uh, welcoming to ideas. You know, we'll, we'll generally do a couple takes as they're written and a couple takes uh, playing around. Uh, so they've always given me a little bit of room to play. But uh, the writing's really good that we don't have to leave, you know, too far from it ever. There's never been a point where, uh, you know, it's like, hey, we got to completely do this differently. It's like, I would just been like, okay, I think I've got like maybe one tag that might have some fun here. But uh, my stand-up, um, you know, pacing-wise is very different from the show. As a stand-up, I'm probably one of the slowest, most labored talkers in the history of public speaking. Uh, and so when I, when I auditioned for the show, it, it was a, a conscious effort to match the pacing of uh, Jared and Nate from the original uh, shorts. I, I watched uh, watched it, it several times and, and uh, worked very hard to speed my pacing up to match the rapid fire tone. And, and now it, it's funny because now people who know me more from the show, when they come see my stand up, are very surprised to find out that I don't actually talk like that in real life. That I I know where S's go and have a, a rudimentary grasp of the English language. So. <laughs> yeah, like I, my stand-up definitely, you know, it helps me convey the humor of the situation, but uh, the, you know, the writing's there, so it's not a lot of work for me to do, but it is a different role from the one that I've uh, set myself up for as a, as a stand-up performer. Is, is each show, is, uh, is it pretty true to, to the written word, or is, is there some ad-libbing going on? 
it's very, I mean, there, there's always a little bit of ad-libbing, but the, the, there's, the scenes are so long, there's so much dialogue that people are trying to remember their lines. So there's not a lot of like crazy make em ups usually happening. As Trevor just said, like there'll be a, a different tag, a different button, somebody will come up with an alternate punchline or a joke or something to do. Yeah. But you know, when you're looking at a you know, eight, 12 page scene, you're not like immediately going, let me improv this. You're like, let me just learn this. Let me make sure yeah. all the words come out of my mouth. Because, you know, one line screws up the night. If you don't know that line, you can't say the line after. Like, it's a very, it follows, you know, like you have to, the kind of, it has to be followed, the dialogue. Um, and I think that that's been a great thing. It, it, you know, first of all, our cast is amazing at it. And second of all, it encourages a kind of discipline at work that I really like. People are very, they show up prepared. They have a lot to do that day and we get it done. Um, it's great. I think it makes everybody's job smoother and easier. And I think it makes the show, it's part of what makes the show feel so tight. Well, I, I, I love the writing. I love the, the kind of interplay you guys do. It's, it's, it's like nothing else on TV um, or, or streaming. And it's just fantastic. I, I see we're up against the time. I just really appreciate you guys taking some oh, our uh, pleasure. To talk to me. Nice to meet you. Nice to chat with yeah. you. You guys have a wonderful day. You, you too. You too.